Hey, greetings to you, Africans worldwide. Now I'm happy to be with you again to share thoughts. But me, but me, me, permit me to do so. And I hope you're doing well, whatever you are. Well, we are in the tax month. That is when you're in the diaspora. I know for sure my side, Canada, is from February to March, all right? Those are the tax season that you get tax refund, something from your white grandfather after taking your money throughout the year. They'll give you something depending on your contributions, you know, when you are, your investment and whatever you're doing financially. Now, I know that we both are uh, in the diaspora from Africa. We are not used to this tax thing. We are not used to insurances, investment. But hey, we are in a different era. We need to take advantage of the system financially, especially traditional working, working hard, educating yourself doesn't work all the time. So all we can do now, we are in a different time era. All we have to do is to leverage what we have. Now, if I talk about leverage what we have, I know some of you are going to have a big tax refund. Use that money wisely for investment. And your investment should be based on due diligence. Don't just fall for anything that they, they, they're on the internet. Do your own due diligence. Or if you're not, go to my website, which is www.kwamikwewa.com. There is a complimentary webinar for you, how you can invest your money properly and get something out of it. It's a legitimate business in Canada. All right? So log into that. But right now, today, I'm here to let's share ideas and talk about finances black finances all right so we are used to working hard when we are in the diaspora from cleaning job factory job left and right we get tired we don't know what the investment is about people are making money soft money by not doing anything what we are using working hard i'll say that work smarter work smarter leverage the system leverage what you have now if you have any money Make sure that you do you are you are investing that money properly and getting some compound interest on it as well. Now, what what do I mean by investment? And also before that, I want to emphasize that every black child need to have the financial knowledge, need to know what is finances is are, need to know how to spend money and save money. Also, need to know how to invest that money. All right, making use that of the. Um, financial resources there available freely on the internet. Now, when I talk about investment, you must look into investment that can give you some dividends, like ETFs, treasury bonds, you know, bonds and treasury bills. I remember in those days that my dad had been buying treasury bills and bonds from um, Herbalife. He used to do Herbalife, side hustling, you understand? But I don't know what was going on. He didn't sell me down to explain how the system work, you understand? What he's doing, so I have to learn everything on my own. Okay, so when we, when we talk about ETFs and dividends, Google that and you'll know more about it and how you can do investment. If you're in that, go to your bank. Make appointment with your financial advisor at the bank. They will educate you. I learned a lot from TD Bank and different banks that I have in Canada. I learned a lot from them, just calling them and asking questions. And they will guide you, they will have time to teach you. You understand? So we have to learn in a hard way on our own. So do proper investment into ETFs, uh, bonds, treasury bills, and mostly I like ETFs and stock. Yeah, you can learn all those things on the internet. Waste your time wisely financially, all right? And also when uh, we also talk about a certain type of investment that you can do as a sideline business, sideline hustling, uh, that means using your credit card. Now, I personally have 843 credit score. Do you know how I get it? It's just basic. We all here, we came back, you be enticed uh, with all love, loan to all of credit card. They'll give it to you. A lot of banks will give it to you, this credit card, when you open an account, you get it freely. It's not like Africa. You get those things. But mind you, when you get when you get all those credit cards, don't just miss, don't abuse it. 
use it wisely all right make sure that your minimum payments are paid in time and then increase it a little bit if it's, they say you got you got to pay let's say fifty dollars or spending of um of uh, five hundred dollars or four hundred dollars and you have to pay a minimum or every month fifty dollars just put there maybe seventy dollars seventy dollars and make sure that you pay on time by so doing you are increasing your credit score we have something called good debt and bad debt bad debt is when you are really in shit hole that means you are really in debt you have to pay if you don't pay they can repossess a lot of things from you your car payment and and all not but when you talk about a good debt a good debt is when you're using your credit card that credit card they give you you are using it to invest into something lucrative get the money back quickly with profit and then pay off your credit card bill that means you are a winner you are using the system you are using them like the bank the bank is using your money the bank is using your money to make money if you don't know so you also do the same thing as well when you're in the diaspora you have a lot of financial opportunities a lot of financial resources make use of it another thing is insurance this go to your parents when they are in their old age make sure that they have insurance like jewish people they make sure that all their parents have insurance when they die bye <laughs> when they are gone you are the winner you become a millionaire that how jewish people in the jewish people are rich through insurance insurance they make sure they have life insurance coverage all right if something happened to their parents or you yourself you'll be rich why not insurance when we in africa we are afraid to insure ourselves till something happened before we wake up because we have so many lame excuses there's no time for excuses these days yeah take a leap of faith and do what you got to do to survive in this world if you they biblically or by the scripture saying that money is evil no poverty is evil poverty is evil when you're poor you are tempted to do a lot of bad things but if you are rich you can use the money to help a lot of people depending how you use your money is the mindset is the mind game so change your mind let's change your mind and do better in the diaspora to become financial financially free the financial freedom start from your mindset yeah everything in this world start from here your mind your mind your mind is your god your mind is your daily bread your mind is everything here you are living today because of your mind you are doing what you are doing today because of your mindset here all start from here so be financially mindful and prepare yourself for the greater goals that you can achieve from your mind to words words become action action is being transformed manifested into reality and becomes who you are by your behavior all start from here all right i share i share that's my thoughts sharing with you share this video share with your loved ones let's be united together let's make the money and go back to africa for better investment because africa is the green gold is the future if you don't know the green gold is in africa it's not saturated yet because everything here is saturated like i said we are not inventing the wheel so take the ideas from here transfer it back home and do a greater investment and become somebody in this world somebody somebody in this universe all right take care of yourself and each other I share, I share, I always bow down to your divinity because I know that you are God, I'm a God, so let's respect each other. I bow down to you. Take care of yourself and each other. I share, I share, I share.